Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Ships Tarot. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. And this will be the weekly general reading for the sign of Scorpio for the week of June 6th through the 12th. And hello again. And also at this time, I would like to thank everyone who has given my channel a thumbs up, subscribed, and left a comment. Thank you very much. It is greatly appreciated to know that people are actually listening to these. Thank you for that. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what this week has for you. And your first card out is... Ah, the Eight of Pentacles. So you're hard at work, crafting. Maybe you're thinking of going to school, taking a new course in something, new, something that sparks your interest. You're very diligent at it when you decide to do something, for sure. You see it to its end, which is very commendable. And the Empress, so you know, abundance, Plute <laughs> can't speak today, sorry for that, you know, feeling very uh, flirty, <laughs> you know, feeling happy and healthy, taking care of yourself, hopefully. You know, do you realize that you're a good person and you're very attractive at this time for sure? And you are at any time. And the Five of Pentacles. So feeling a little bit jaded, left out, misunderstood, feeling like nobody appreciates you or notices you. I'm sorry for that. You know, just perhaps you, you need a... A helping hand in something and you're not sure you don't feel like anybody's listening to you but if you ask sometimes it's amazing people will help and unexpectedly so all right and the nine of pentacles so feeling a little bit lonely you're very prosperous you you know whatever you decide to do you, you're very good at it you have, you know, all that you want that makes you content. You're quite content, but I think you're feeling a little bit lonely this week. And the Emperor. So, you know, sometimes we got to ask ourselves if we don't like what's going on. We might have to change some things in our life. Oh, we have to. This could be in a job situation as well. Maybe you feel like, you know, somebody you're under somebody's thumb and they're always leaning on you. Maybe it's time to uh, take a different look at, you know, or maybe this is you doing that to somebody else. But maybe you need to step back and have a look. The question is, you know, is this what I really want for myself? And the Eight of Swords, so you're feeling definitely bound. Trapped, not sure which way to go. Seems like every time you try to turn, you, you know, you get cut to shreds here with something. Something's holding you back and bound, and you don't feel like you can see your way forward in any direction. But it's something that you definitely have to take the blinders off and deal with it so that you can feel um, better more free for yourself that you're not held back you know and the nine of cups so definitely making some wish here for yourself and i think it's financially of some sort you know so that you have more you have a lot you just i don't think you realize 
that you're that you do at this in particular time you feel like you need to just have a little bit more and the magician so you may have to uh, face some sort of difficult challenge here in your life put some focus on it so that you can you know climb that hill and and deal with whatever this happens to be in your life you know what's what's holding you back and keeping you bound or like I said this could be a job that you're feeling like you're under somebody's scrutiny all the time and you're not happy so how do you set yourself free you know maybe you've just realized that what your own potential is which is wonderful and the five of cups so looks like you have a little bit of remorse over you know, something in your life that you feel you've, you've either let it go or it's slipped through your fingers. You know, mourning something that's gone. But in order, you know, when usually when something leaves our life, it's so that we can move forward on a different path. And the fool. So, yeah, definitely, you know, starting over in something. The joker. <laughs> Blind faith, leaping into the future. You know, just watch your step. It's always nice to have wonderful dreams. But, you know, be careful when you take that first step out there. Think before you leap. Watch your footing. Don't do it totally blindfolded. Do a little bit of research. Yeah. And the nine of rods. So you've definitely been through a few upheavals in your life here, I think. Now, whether that's you've had to stand your ground and and uh, defend yourself at a job, in your home life. Something has definitely beaten you down. So you're now you're sort of standing there hoping that it's all over and done with or you're thinking perhaps maybe it's just the eye of the storm and is it going to happen again but only you have the answers to that and the king of swords so aries sign gemini Libra, aquarius so maybe this is somebody you know or perhaps somebody you're getting advice from. He's very quick-witted, straightforward. Unfortunately, sometimes when he speaks, it's very blunt. So it almost feels like you're being attacked, but you need to... Uh, maybe you're going to him to figure out how to deal with your situation here. And the Queen of Cups. It's a water sign. Now this could, you know, be yourself or somebody you know or your other half. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You know, make something in your life real. You know, make it grow, watch it grow. It's always nice. Well, that could be in romance or uh, money in the future, new job. And the Knight of Rods. So maybe you have a active vacation coming perhaps for yourself. Or you're thinking about taking one. Usually it's by a vehicle of some sort. No, it could be an SUV or a motorcycle or bicycle. You know, you're just thinking of taking a trip, which is always nice. Something new and exciting. Don't do anything too dangerous, though. Take care of yourself, for heaven's sakes. And the star. So... Believe in yourself. Anything you start can, you know, turn out very well for you in the future. So, 
Maybe you're going to meet somebody on this little adventure you're thinking of taking. Open your heart to receive. It's amazing what will come in unexpectedly. And the Three of Pentacles. So you've definitely put a lot of work into something. Um, you're very good at whatever it is that you do for a living as well. People look up to you, respect you. Uh, they come and ask you for advice or to show them how to do something. You're very knowledgeable, which is wonderful. You know, you know what you got to do in life and how to do it. You're very good at it. You make it look like it's, you know, absolutely effortless. But so, other than that, you have a very good week. That gives lots of new movement you're maybe thinking of going back to school to uh, upgrade yourself or maybe you're thinking of um, becoming an instructor for what knowledge you already have or maybe your boss has asked you to uh, take a course in how to you know stand up in front and and teach others what you already know for knowledge which is always nice mm -hmm. but it's gonna just like come right out of nowhere at you. It's going to be quite surprising. You're not going to expect it. All right, Scorpio, we're going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card and see what kind of clarity we can get on this week for yourself. But it does look good, really good. You know, things are just going to sort of come out of the air at you. And you're going to be quite happy about them. Yes, the timing is right for this new venture. A happy outcome flows. Your positive expectations. There you are. Well, that's a wonderful card to end on. All right, Scorpio, I want to thank you again, and I will see you all again next week. Till then. Stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.